Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look. This is my spring glam look using the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I felt like that was kind of appropriate, you know, bloom, spring, flowers. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna start off by priming our face as per usual. Today I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray as my primer. Going into foundation, I'm whipping out my OG foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus in a couple shades to light. We're gonna make it work, don't worry. To highlight, I'm using the Benefit Shy Beam. Um, I love this stuff. Okay, if you have not tried this, you need to, it's amazing. You're welcome. To set everything, I'll be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder on this really big fluffy Sigma brush. For my primer, my eye primer, I'm using the Benefit Air Patrol, it's like this BB primer stuff. Uh, it's really lightweight and I don't really notice any sort of creasing with it, which is a huge surprise because my eyes crease like crazy. Now moving into the palette. Honestly, if you don't have this palette, you don't need this palette for this look. This look could easily be recreated using any neutral palette like the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette. Um, if you have that, you can, you can use that, trust me. I got this because I like new shiny things and this was new and shiny when I got it. <laughs> So after setting my eye base, I'm going to move into the crease color. This is just a couple shades deeper than the base shadow. And I'm just going to work that into the crease because that's the crease color. <laughs> Once I've buffed out the crease color, I'm going in with this kind of burnt terracotta color to deepen up the outer corner of my eye to add a little bit more dimension. You could easily use any of the deeper shades from the palette, but I went for the one that scares me the most. I typically avoid this shade as much as I possibly can, so... Now picking up the lightest shade in the palette, I'm going to apply that to my brow bone just to, you know, clean up the look a little bit more and just kind of make my brow bones pop, you know? My brow bone will be popping. No? Okay. Uh, now I'm just going back in with my crease color and applying that to my bottom lash line to smoke it out a little bit. I hate when my bottom lash line is bare. So I made sure it was not bare. <laughs> now I'm going in with Funny Girl, which is like this shimmery kind of champagne type color. Uh, there was a little bit of fallout with this shade, but it was worth it because it's like really pretty so i can deal now um okay i apologize my liner mascara and lash application like that footage dropped somewhere so uh that did not make it into this video but you can imagine how that must have gone so just imagine that you just witnessed all of that go down in the dm and now i am applying this just really pretty color to my bottom lash line to connect my bottom lash line to the winged liner. That's what just happened. And now I am highlighting and contouring my face with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is like my third palette and I'm like about due for another one. Why do I go through this thing so quickly? Ugh! But I just can't not. It is such a good palette. So good. It cannot be replaced. However, I have been obsessed with the, um, it's a Wet n Wild contour highlight palette and holy crap, holy, it is so good. Um, it's only one, it's like banana shade and then a contour shade. So the only way that I would say that the Kat Von D one is better is because there's more, more shades. But anyway, if you haven't seen that, you should go look for it and use it. All right, now I've obviously moved forward quite a bit. I highlighted, I've blushed, and now I've moved on to lips. I've got two lip options for you. The first one's a really safe option. This is Angela's by Ofra Cosmetics. Just a really pretty nude color. I like it, but I just felt like I was like kind of plain Jane with this. Uh, so I decided to wipe that off and apply this really pretty, this is kind of like, I feel like this is a perfect spring summer red. I don't know if you can really tell from this, but it has kind of, it's like a strawberry red to me. And it just, oh, it's so beautiful. I love this color so much. That does it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.